Okay, this video is going to be on basic um, operation of the deck mounted monitor on engine 22. Um, just real simple inspection and then how to, how to set it up and aim it. Okay. I'll also point out some of the extra equipment up here for the deck gun. Okay, so this is a Akron Apollo high riser. Um, it we are carrying it with an automatic nozzle on on there. And what's different? Then most nozzles that you know it's important to make a note of this is it's a low pressure nozzle it's not a hundred it's eighty so that was new new to me okay so this high riser is designed to store down low and then you can raise it up so it's got a fog nozzle on it and then in this milk crate here is the portable monitor and some stack tips and then i just got a uh, piece of accessory rope here so this rope uh, this yellow rope is in here so if you need to lower the monitor down off the truck to somebody safely without hurting anybody or breaking stuff okay so the main thing with this deck gun, if you're going to put it into operation, um, is to make sure that these mounting pins, there's two mounting pins at the base that hold it on to the flange for the truck. Make sure those pins are in place before it's operated, which these ones are. Okay, you got a hand wheel here. This changes the elevation. And you'll watch right here there's a pin it'll lock into place right there okay that's the 35 degree angle right there if you need to go lower than that you'll have to pull that pin out okay so this monitor you know you can flow it with the um with it depressed or the elevation down here on the second joint uh, but it's really designed to to rise up so this this pin right here pull it up and then you lift up and it'll lock into place you hear that lock and then from here that hand wheel still adjust the elevation and it'll actually go up past 90 degrees straight straight up so as it goes down it'll hit my 35 pin lock pin if I want to press lower than that I can okay and then there's a, a brake knob here this is what keeps it from spinning so if I tighten it, it kind of locks it in place. So if I want to point this, loosen up the brake knob, and then you can point it where you need to, and then lock the brake knob back down. Okay, so some key notes about kind of some safety stuff for using this is uh, power lines make note of the power lines before you flow water uh, reiterate these two connector pins make sure those are both in place it uh, makes a hell of a situation when those pins aren't fixed and you charge this and this thing will launch um, number three Okay, right now we've got it fixed to the truck, but if you unpin this, 
put it on the portable mount. You cannot flow water with it in the elevated position like that. It's got to be down in the lower position. Okay. Um, we will do, we're going to do another, a second video on setting it up on the ground mount. Okay. So that's the basics here. Um, I guess two other items I can go over is there is a gauge here in PSI. This straight section of pipe right here is a stream straightener. And then this nozzle, if I go left with it, I go to a wide, and then if I go to the right, I go to a straight stream. Okay. Leave it on that. And then storing this, uh, it, it sh should be left down in the lower position, just so it doesn't hit branches and or a, a low garage door opening okay so i'm going to rotate that off to the side to store it i'm going to pull that pin rotate it down and it locks and then the best the best thing for this is to store it with the nozzle resting against something so the weights off of all this all the uh, moving parts so it doesn't wear it out so I just I'm putting the nozzle on the edge of the dunnage area there and then I'll lock lock it all into place okay yeah so next video will be um, setting it up on the ground mount thanks